Folks, uh, my, uh, you know, we've got the, uh, we've, we've, I think now we're all itching a little bit, yeah. which means we must be ready to talk to my next guest. She's a talented uh, comedian who is on the house team over there at UCB. She's uh, one of these great multi-talented individuals and performs with forklift comedy, doing some music stuff. Anyway, let's bring her up. Anna Caligari is here. anti-bed bug anthem. I like that. <laughs> Just going to chase them right out of there. That's yeah. not a way to do it though, is it? With music. With sound, yeah. with sound effect? There actually are a lot of bed bug songs. Okay, well, we maybe we can put a little vinyl out later. But Anna, you just uh, came in. We were worried. You, you contacted me before the show and said, there's no way I can possibly make it. And I said, well, them's the breaks. I'll figure it out. It's not the first time I got a text like that. But then you said, oh, I can be there. And here you are. And I'm thrilled. But where were you? You were over in New um, Jersey doing yes, something. Yes, I was in a shoot um, in New Jersey. When I initially went to the shoot this morning, it was in Manhattan. And they did my hair and my makeup. And then they said, go outside and your car will take you to set. And I said, okay. And then 45 minutes later, I'm like, we're not there yet. Why, why are we in Jersey? What's going on? And, yep. and so the shoot was in Jersey and no one told me. But That's a heck of a way to get there, isn't it? It was really funny. I was like in the car. I was like, oh, set. I'm excited to go to set. Thinking like five minutes past. I'm like, all right, well. This is weird. I don't want to ask any questions because yeah. I want to seem professional, but also I have no idea. And then we got on the bridge. I'm like, we're, we're not staying in New York, are we? <laughs> but was it a fun time over there for oh, a show yeah. we Very can't fun. talk and about? Oh, yeah. Very fun and also no traffic on the way home. <laughs> oh, that's, that's great. That's the key. I know. So that is why I'm here. You, you had kind of a commuter's dream then. That's exactly. uh, fun to think about. Exactly. And, uh, but, but you had a good, you're good, are you a recurring person on the show? Um, no, not right now. But not yet. We'll Not see. Yet. As long as we don't spill the beans as yeah, to what it as was. Long as we'll spill the beans. Yeah. <laughs> and a very popular podcast. But yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> Anna, you you uh, are also a, a licensed real estate uh, agent. Yes, that is my day job. Still, do it's kind of a good day job, I would think. Yeah, it's it's really great because I get to choose my own hours and and also the majority of the people I work with are referrals, so I get to work with my friends or friends of friends. Um, all sound. When you pick your own hours, you pick like six to nine, like a, kind of an evening time, or what or are you like, a couple or hours or like here and there? Twelve to twelve thirty, or like that's about when I get to work. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, just like whatever. I don't know. It depends. You know what I used to love though? Those great Century Twenty One jackets. <gasps> yeah. Just did you ever suggest maybe getting some matching outfits for the team? I know, you know, it would be really fun. It would be. It would. Um, you want me to come up so there then, with some? Yeah, I can get so then a everyone in New York, like, you, they know. You're like, oh, she's definitely a broker. That's like, right. she's got the jacket. That's the mark of trust. But now, have you had to uh, see any bed bugs on your, as you're showing places? Fortunately, no. Yeah, I've, um, I actually just became my own agent, but for the past five what years. What does that mean? You got your own office? Well, I'm, you got your own laptop? I'm like my own broker. Yeah, pretty much. Got yeah. my own stuff. But before I was working as an assistant for two pretty high up brokers, sure. which was great because I was just living off of their, their good Absolutely. fortune. Absolutely. And, and so they had very, very wonderful, fancy, fancy apartments. Um, that they sold or they lived in? Both. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so fortunately, I did not see any bed bugs. Yeah. Um, they can happen in fancy places. But it places could, yeah. Too. Fancy people can get bed bugs, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Definitely. Yeah. Totally. They definitely so, can. Is that I guess something you'd have to? Secretive about it. They yeah. don't tell you. Well, see, that's what I wondered. Yeah. If you had to disclose that, if you ever um, found it. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Oh, but good. I've never had an apartment where it's been well, a lucky problem. you, yeah. lucky you, and yeah. you haven't had them yourself. You haven't had to deal with them. No, I did have cockroaches. Well, everybody has cockroaches. That's like mm. I wear underwear. We all have. It. <laughs> I mean, oh god, it was just awful. It was when you I had a lot them. of them. Yeah, because they were all babies. Oh. And it was when we first moved into an apartment, so clearly it was left over from the monsters that lived there before. Leftover babies. Oh, God, the it was worst. awful. My roommate and I, we slept on a mattress together, and we, we did a circle around it of boric acid, and we're like, they're never going to get us now. But, like, 
Living in New York is glamorous, isn't it's, it? It's so glamorous. You see why people want to move here. Yeah, I'm fancy. But so. now you grew up in Chicago. <laughs> yes. Did you I do did. any comedy there? I did at the Second City program in high school. Yeah. And then I came to uh, New York for college. So then I just started the UCB stuff. Just kept stuff. on going. Yeah. I was there when I first attempted to grow a mustache. And ah. I will tell you that Chicago is not a place for a thin mustache. It's a lot of uh, very proud mustaches just digging into deep dish wieners. That's yeah. the whole scene there. So it's very for difficult sure. to be. But you love food, don't you? Oh, oh, I do. Yeah, that's I a big do. passion of yours. Big passion. And did you attempt to get on a Food Network program at some point? No, I, I should. Yeah, I think you should. I really should. I would should. like you to do that. As the judge. Oh, which that's what you Because I would, would do? like to eat the food. Oh, I see. Yes. I don't know, I would, sometimes I would like that... to be the female Guy Fieri. To be completely <laughs> yeah. honest. Well, you get yourself a saddlebag full of donkey sauce and you'll be fine. I know. I know. That's you what he sells. You think I'm making something up? That's what he sells. He sells donkey it. sauce. And then, sauce. Well, well, you all know. You've all been to the great establishment that he has up there. <laughs> Had a cocktail. Yeah. $85 <laughs> for a drink of donkey sauce. <laughs> That's what you do? Because well, you, you like to drive around and go to uh, Greasy Spoon kind of places? I mean, I just think that all the food he's eating is super cool. He gets to see how it's made. Then he gets to eat it. Then he gets to pause and be like, this is awesome. Um, and it just looks like all the food he's eating is really good. Like, have you ever seen him eat something and then spit it out and be like, get me out of here, this is awful. No, he doesn't like eggs, though. So sometimes yeah, he gets a little queasy true. around eggs. That's true. And he's often wearing open-toed shoes in the kitchen, which I find a little baffling. Weird, you know? <laughs> Weird that they let him do that. But also, Mario Batali wears Crocs. Also, also disturbing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But he's so cool. Is there a tumbler, a footwear of uh, famous chefs? I don't think I ever want to see that tumbler. <laughs> <laughs> no, probably, probably not. But yeah. that's uh, that. Well, you can probably get to Flavor Town. I bet you could get there. Yeah, one of these days. Yeah. You'll turn on your TV and you'll see me well, just wiping a... sauce off my face, being like, "Oh, A plus." <laughs> this <laughs> you is gotta do the, You gotta do the crowd. Oh, yeah, right? you gotta that's do the, the crouch when you're picking up a really the... big burger yeah. sandwich. Mm. Put well, your whole body into it. I love your dreams. Yeah. Uh, that's your, and you're also very, uh, you're one of these people that has many different talents, as I said. You, you, you sing and you get involved in all that. Yeah. And uh, Forklift is a singing group? Yeah, um, Doug Weidick and I have a group where we compose music and um, sing songs that are funny. <laughs> right, have you, they're, have, they're pretty funny. Have you always done that, the singing? Yeah, I was a musical theater major, actually. Oh. Uh, so... I there do. You go. I do like to sing. I have a. I actually have a monthly show at Joe's Pub at the Public Theater. Yeah, I've heard of it. Um, yeah, it's, it's great. It's called the Losers Lounge. Oh, and that's your show. It's um, it's You're a show that I'm, I'm part of. Yeah. And you just did that recently with the Joni Mitchell thing. Yeah, right? exactly. And look, I understand she's having some difficulty. I know. It was never. Yeah. Uh, we wish her well. We Absolutely, do. We she's do. a great friend of this program. And uh, <laughs> though I've never cared Joni. for her music, I'm, I wish her well. Yeah. Uh, I did spend a couple of evenings with some ladies in a canyon, and I don't need to repeat that again. But she has uh, she has that disease. She thinks she has that disease, right? More more gallons. How do you say? More gallons disease. If people don't know, it's a disease where, but it, does it exist? Probably not. It's probably, it's never been proven to exist. They usually think they have like these threads in their skin. Folks, do yourself a favor tonight after the program. Go home and Google this disease with an image search. Wait, they think <laughs> they have You will not be disappointed. Because so, they think they're having threads yes. growing out of their skin. Yeah, there's this whole thing called, like, if you have a parasite delusion, you think that you're infected with things, version of that, but if you tell someone that has that, that that's what it is, that there's obviously some upset uh, feelings. It's actually a really contentious yeah. thing. But we wish her well, whatever yeah. she has, and you enjoy singing her music, so yeah. I don't know if you can work that into to the next show at all, some kind of fear of uh, arm threads, but... Uh, <laughs> Thank uh, God no one mentioned it at the show. Yeah, but that's you take on not just her, and, and yeah. again, if something should happen to this great artist between now and the time that this program is released or out there in the world. We certainly wish her and her family well and thank you for her contribution to uh, American culture. And but Joni, you know, I think it's a real disease, Joni. <laughs> okay, you heard it. So, uh, wherever you are. Uh, so, uh, uh, but, but you do all different kinds of uh, songs and singers and you take it on and you do what with it? Rest the life out of it? 
Yeah, well, every every month we have um, we pay tribute to a different artist and we sing covers of their songs. Yeah. So the Joe McGinty band is an amazing band. Sure. That's just accompanying everyone, and then all the songs. It's mostly um, we sing the popular songs and we sing some deep cuts, and then sometimes we sing songs that the artist inspired or also participated in. So my song was a Joni Mitchell inspired song. Oh, I see. Um, it was actually a song that, have you heard of the Lemmings show? Uh, yes. It's like a 1960s, yeah, yeah, yes. uh, it was a parody of Woodstock show with like all the original SNL cast members. And one woman who was never on SNL right, right. Did, did a parody named Rhonda Coulee. She did a parody of Joni Mitchell, and so that's the song that I sang. Very nice. That sounds like, and that's every month you do that? Yeah, yeah. That's great. And you also are on a house team called uh, What Characters Welcome? Yeah, yes. And you uh, are known for doing a lot of different characters. What's that like to inhabit it's, a person like that? It, yeah. just, and, it just must be fun um, to drop it, it in is, for a it little is pretty bit fun. do a little something, try it out. <gasps> Not, not necessarily devoting your life to it, but just kind of, you know, having fun with, yeah. with I mean, it. it's pretty fun because you can say whatever you want because it's not you. It's yeah. It's a character. Oh. Yeah. God, that sounds terribly so, liberating. Uh, watch out. Yeah. <laughs> wish I could be that free. I know. We all do. Yeah. We all yeah. do. And you, did, and you were on Broad City recently, too, right? Yes. I was a drunk girl. Um, part I've been born to play. Uh, was really again, 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 keep your keep your applause down. <laughs> yeah, you guys. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, Drunk I forgot girl. this is an AA meeting. <laughs> <laughs> That's wonderful. And do you think that character will come back? Um, who know, Who knows? Who knows? But it was great. If we I all, could write the show, it would. We all cheered you on there and your drunkenness. It was really. It's quite. I fun. always respond to drunk characters very positively. It was. It was fun. Um, there were. We were on set till like 4 a.m. because we shot on St. Mark's Place. Oh, yeah. And everyone on set, everyone that works on that show is just awesome. Sure. Like, they love it. No one, like, normally when you're on set that late, there's like just one sourpuss that's just like, oh, I got something to do tomorrow. Yeah. And just making everyone, like, sad. But no one, yeah, no one on that set did that. Everyone was super fun and really cool. Well, that's fantastic. I hope yeah. that you do get to work with them again yeah. or have a similar kind of experience <laughs> on set in a future endeavor. Now, uh, what um, do you have coming up? Anything? I actually have a show here at the pit. On, here, right here. Yeah, on Sunday at 8 at my sketch team, Garlic Jackson. Garlic Jackson. Yeah. Great. We have a show here, and then I have... Another characters welcome show on May 18th. Great. At UCB. And people can find out about you on your website and My all that. My website. Kind of yeah. That's great. Well, I've really enjoyed you being here, Anna Caligari. Yeah, cool. How about that, Anna? Everybody. Thank you, guys. You can stick stick around.